Hello, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can go about uh, working on your Instagram page in Adobe InDesign. So we have a template to download. Um, let's say you have downloaded it. So we go to open. Now remember we have opened up Adobe InDesign. Um, you go to your downloads folder and click on InDesign template.ind. Click on open. So uh, your version of Adobe InDesign might be an older version. Uh, what you need to do is when there's a pop-up saying that's not compatible, click on convert, do not click on update. All right, so we have here our first look at Adobe InDesign. On the left-hand side, you have your menu system, very similar to Adobe Photoshop. On your right-hand side of this page of the screen here, you have the options for the tools and other options for your pages, for example. All right, so let's get into it. Um, we won't do a huge amount of stuff here. It's going to be very basic. Um, we want to see um, how to do this, right? So um, you go over to this tool here. This is the selection tool. You can press V on the keyboard and it goes into this tool as well. So we select this blue box and this blue box is a an image container. This yellow box is as well and all these other ones are too. So we go to the blue box and we go to File place and we're going to find our image so for this one here I've just got one image and I've selected this one here and you click on open and the image has come up way too big so what we can do is we can right click and we can go to fitting and we can we can select one of these ones here full frame proportionally let's click on that one and there it is so this one was already cropped to one to one um, aspect ratio. Let's see what happens if we, um, you know, try another method. So here on the yellow one, let's say we're looking at the next image. Um, shortcuts here. Press Command D on the key on the Mac or Control D on on a PC, and we go to our image again. Now, obviously, you can go to your own image. So let's try another image here. Let's try that image there, um, which is not in the one to one ratio. Click on open and this image has also opened up way too big. So if we right click, go to fitting, full frame proportionally, what's happened here is that it's cut off some of the other parts of the image. So if you want to modify this or adjust the cropping of this image, what you can do is you can double click on this and here you have these drag boxes and you can drag this out pressing shift at the same time to keep your dragging out as in aspect ratio and we can move it around which is pretty cool. We can now click outside of it and it's set and done. Um, I want you to do, to do all the rest and also over here um, you can select this color and change it to let's say blue. Obviously put your student name as it appears on the roll as well as your form group in there too. Once you have done that be aware that when you save this file, so go to File, Save As. I'm going to call this one here Temp um, Final. Okay, whoops, Final. And I'm going to save this to um, another location here in my tutorials section here, Final, InDesign Final. And I'm going to click on Save. So this is saved now. However, when you upload to, um, to Google Classroom or Compass or whatever program your school is using, you need to upload all the JPEG images as well as the .ind file. And to safeguard our submission, what we can do is we go to File, Export. We're going to export as a PDF file. So you format, I want you to choose Adobe PDF for print and making sure that you're aware of where it's going to save to, click on save. And um, just be sure that, it, like all this stuff here is very complex, but under here, marks and bleeds, I want you to turn off all these. So these should be all be off. And now we're gonna to go to export. And now Adobe InDesign, you see here that there was a little progress bar. Sometimes there's a progress bar in the bottom left-hand corner. Um, that has processed the, um, the PDF file. So I can go and check to see the PDF file has been created. I can see here final.pdf. 
I can now view it in Adobe Acrobat Reader. So you upload the .pdf file as well, once you have finished. It's just opening up Adobe Acrobat. We always check to see if our files are working at all times. If Adobe Acrobat wants to work. Let's see if you want to open up again. Here we go. So this is now the exported PDF file over here. Okay, so we can see this over here. That'll be all. Thank you. Bye.